Well, hello, my beautiful Aquarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career and money reading for the end of July right through the end of August 2024. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space Hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and then follow it with a Celtic cross just to see what is coming towards you. Uh, also, I've just opened a competition to win a free personal reading from me. I'll let you know how to win that a little bit later on because I don't like to waste anyone's time. Uh, but before I even start, they're showing me an image in the water of a spaceman suit. Anyway, I can't see anyone inside it. I'm just seeing a spaceman suit. Uh, so this can indicate that you are going to go outside your usual parameters when it comes to work. Perhaps uh, you're given a task, assignment, or a responsibility that is uh, a little bit uh, outside the usual turn of events. Uh, it can also indicate that uh, perhaps you are taking a risk on something. Maybe you are currently putting your resume out there, as it were, in order to find new opportunities. Um, but it can indicate that, you know, you are seeking a little bit more adventure outside what you normally do when it comes to your craft or your career. So please take it as it resonates. I mean, for some of you, if you're super lucky, it could be that you work um, in a space related environment, perhaps. Um, so please take it as it resonates. Okay, of course, you know, you are Aquarius, you are air. So it can indicate that maybe some sort of um, advanced technology will help you in some way with your day-to-day um, -day tasks of running things. So yeah, please take it as it resonates. I'm not sure how else to decode what I can see in the water. I can only give you an image of what I can see and then try and decode it uh, to see how it works out for you. Well, there you go. Um, we have the uh, South Adventure card, and that is a spaceman suit. So sometimes, you know, I'll get in the water uh, what I'm about to receive in your reading. So uh, we can take it like that. Um, but I will give you what this card means when I get to it. So adventure. You want more spontaneity, or perhaps some of you are opening yourself up to learning in your career, to upskill in some way so that you can venture out, venture forward, um, and, you know, explore what is out there, perhaps something that you haven't explored before. Uh, but it's definitely going to connect you to new opportunities, whatever it is, okay? Um, I'm really excited that it's popped up and that there is a synchronicity there that I saw it in the water uh, pop out at the same time there. So that's really wonderful. But the first card you have there is change. Now, I'm getting a real energy here of you being very, very uh, busy that there may be some practices or policies that change in your industry that you may need to learn or catch up with or be on top of in some way. Uh, but this can indicate that there are some merges or something in your industry is advancing or is like it's super busy. So some of you could be like uh, really exhausted, pushed and pulled in many different directions over the next coming weeks. I definitely see you're going to be very productive. There's a lot of tasks here. So I do see that you're going to be multitasking doing a lot of different things day to day, which does keep things interesting, but you may feel that you're in the flow of doing what you normally do. So uh, it's number 24. And when you reduce that, two plus four, of course, is six. So that's about, you know, remaining grounded and balanced because you're going to have to be flexible because things are going to be uh, picking up pace there. 
there may be a little bit of extra pressure on you as you move through July. Now this could be as you're moving into August, some of you have a vacation booked or you're trying to get something done. There's a deadline there. Uh, you're going to hit your targets. You're going to get everything done. I feel like you're going to be very goal oriented and uh, I feel also you're going to be unstoppable. But I also feel that there is the potential for some delay or, uh, but it feels like it's someone else. So it could be if there's like a chain of command or a chain of events, it could be that someone will be off or is on vacation or perhaps they're unwell or they haven't done the work. There feels like a, a bit of a break in the chain and that's round about the middle of July, which could be a little bit frustrating, but I actually see that you go above and beyond to get it sorted. You find a solution and it really sets you apart from the person that you're dealing with. And I feel it's noticed, okay? so. This could be that you go that extra mile for a client or, um, you know, for your department or if you are, uh, you know, a team leader, it could be that you are going the extra mile to put yourself in line for a promotion. But I definitely see that you are appreciated for it and you're seen for it. So uh, there's definitely something quite exciting happening there for you as well. Now, this card, of course, is all about transformation. Uh, so I feel something in your industry is changing there. Uh, so be prepared. Uh, for some of you, you're thinking about a change in direction, okay? Um, it feels like some of you may have taken a break or are considering taking a break from something that you do day to day in order to explore something else. Or you're actually just thinking at this time of putting your resume out there to use your transferable skills into either a different industry, but the same sort of like task or a job remit that you do but it feels like you are transferring skills uh, in order to uh, basically seek a little bit more adventure, excitement, spontaneity, or just have a different scenery. Also, some of you, you may hear that uh, either your company is thinking about relocating. There may be some downsizing energy to that. So for example, if your company has a prime position in a, a city, for example, they may uh, move just a little bit further out of the city. It doesn't feel like it's in the center. It just feels like it's a little bit further out, maybe not too far out, but it feels like there could be some finances saved by just relocating. So you may hear about that. There may even be a merge or something there and you're wondering how it's going to affect you. I feel there's a connectedness here. So there could be a partnership, but I feel like you are grounded in these changes. And ultimately I feel they don't really affect you, but you may hear about it, okay? Now we do have, of course, that card that I did. Well, I didn't see this card in the water. I just saw the space man suit. I mean, it could be a space person suit, right? Uh, but we always associate the suit with uh, spacemen. Uh, so uh, this card, it's all about adventure. For some of you, you feel that, you know, you're doing Doing the same task every day and you just yearn for something new or exciting, whether that's a new program uh, to help you in your endeavors, whether it is a new system or a new way of working. For some of you, you may feel that the system is broken right now. You may feel that you don't have support, you're exhausted, you've got a lot of work on your plate right now. It also feels like there's extra to do and so little time. So you may feel a lot of pressure, but I feel as you move into August, the pressure, it sort of subsides there. And I feel that you're completely in the flow of getting everything done. Now you tend to work really well under pressure, but you may not like it. So I definitely see that you're trying to manage stress levels there as well. Uh, this card, it can indicate that um, you haven't been seeking alternative opportunities, but now you're thinking about it and you're you're carefully looking at your plans just to see if everything is in order so you can find a happy medium and it can also indicate um, that some of you are looking at your finances and it's kind of all or nothing so some of you could be up for promotion and if you feel like you are passed over for this promotion you decide that you're gonna take your services elsewhere um, it could also be that if you feel like you're not respected or if it's, you know, a very toxic environment that you kind of know that there's alternative opportunities out there and you may be just keeping an eye on what's out there at this moment in time. This is a very explorative card. So if you're deciding to stay where you are, uh, it can indicate that you're exploring new ways of working or exploring new networking possibilities or you're just basically trying to uh, stay um, 
ahead of your industry or your game, whatever industry uh, you work for. Some of you, because that is like going out there on your own, exploring the world and what it has to offer, some of you may be launching a business, becoming an entrepreneur, or doing something bold and daring that you've never done before. If you really think about um, this card, it could be that you're taking one large step in a certain direction that is going to connect you to, you know, other doors and avenues opening up for you at this moment in time. But I feel it requires you to get clarity on something and take a calculated risk, like a leap of faith. But it's about you investigating or doing your due diligence before you make that move. Um, for some of you, that move is learning. You know, it could be that you're investigating a new pathway or a new way of independently working. And um, it feels outside your usual parameters. Now, for some of you, this could be that you are actually relocating um, or emigrating, maybe moving your business, migrating it somewhere else. Uh, but I feel there's this energy of, you know, network going on here. Uh, for some of you, this could be internet based is what I see or the internet will work really well for you now. Um, it says here groundedness, gravity. It's really interesting because you've got the card of going against gravity and then you've got the card of gravity. So you may feel that you are looking at who supports you and who sort of really tries to uh, get in the way of your plans or derail you or, uh, you know, it's almost like you're coming back to earth with a bump in some way. And it could be that uh, there is either a person that you thought would support you, doesn't, lets you down perhaps, or it could be that you feel that some changes that you uh, wanted to make uh, require an extra step. And it means that, you know, you've got to be kind of like grounded in your plans. So this is the card of like dreaming of all the possibilities. And remember, there is an umbrella there, which means you're protected in all of your goals, your dreams and your endeavors, you know, so do um, sort of reach outside the box. Do think above your um, parameters right now, because I feel like you're entering a time of potential and possibility. And don't let anyone kind of hold you back or hold you down. As you can see, there's lots of attachments there. I feel like you have a real possibility to fly and elevate in your career. But also, this is a card that indicates um, that it must start with a plan. There must be a blueprint or some sort of plan before you take the next steps. Um, also, it's number 39, okay? And when you get number 39 uh, and reduce it, uh, it's 12, of course. So this can indicate don't rush into anything over the next coming weeks or months. Um, you know, seek a grounded perspective before you, you know, take that power and make the changes that you feel are necessary um, in order to take the next steps on your path. So, I mean, this is a card of gravitas. So I feel like you have a very powerful energy in the changes that you're making. I feel you're in charge of the changes. However, there are some changes going on around you in the industry. And for some of you, this could be literally that you're removing yourself in order to see like a bird's eye perspective uh, of what could happen in your industry or your company, almost like you're preempting and strategizing your next steps to protect your position as you move forward. So I see a lot of strategy going on here. Uh, let's get straight to your Celtic cross. Just to see a little bit more detail, uh, I see there's like this networking thing. Everything is coming together for you. You're going to be very instinctive. I feel like you're making the right moves. And I feel you're changing something about your usual everyday working practice that is going to benefit you, but you're not rushing into the change. Okay, so let's see what's coming out here for you. We've got the Hermit. Some of you are seriously thinking about going solo and some of you are already an entrepreneur and you're searching for inspiration to try and branch out, to diversify in some way. You know when you do something day to day and you know, you kind of love what you do, but at the same time, it's the same old thing, just a different day. And you're searching for inspiration. You may be feeling that um, there's got to be more than this. There's a lot of pressure on, you're working really hard and you may not see the progress that you're making at this moment. In time, but you are going to see that progress over the next coming weeks. Um, the Five of Cups can also indicate that um, either you feel like you lost out on something or you feel that you're unappreciated or it just feels like everything is not going the way you hope for right now and it's a bit of a struggle. I definitely see that you are 
yeah, moving on from a difficult time, that's for sure. You've got the Six of Swords there. You're protected during these changes. So if you have come to this reading, for example, and um, and it's only if you've just come to this reading, because I don't see you losing anything. It's only if this has already happened for you, because I feel this is something that you may have been dealing with. If you've come to this reading and you lost your job or walked away from something that was toxic, and you've been putting yourself out there, but you feel there's been, you know, nothing out there that's been either sparking your attention or it doesn't pay the amount of money that you're looking for, or perhaps it's just like a sparse environment. There's just nothing out there right now. Suddenly, you're going to be connected to a lot of opportunities, and one of them in particular is really going to change your life. And actually, I see one of these opportunities. It can be that uh, you know a person at this place, but you don't know that you know the person. So it's almost like... Um, you go for an interview at a place, right? And then you get the job and then you may bump into a person that you're like, oh my gosh, hi. So they didn't put in a good word for you. There's no nepotism there. You got the job all by yourself, but there's a nice connection there. So I feel there's some sort of camaraderie uh, there too. Uh, that's coming through very, very strongly. And for some of you, you may be just putting your resume out there because you're feeling unappreciated or you feel overstretched, overworked, nearly burnt out, you're exhausted. Whoa. Okay, feel that energy? That was really intense. I don't know if you could hear that on the camera there. How would you like to receive? Okay. Um, yeah, so you feel that perhaps there's been just a lot of change going on and you're just feeling surely it's better elsewhere right now. Uh, the Six of Swords tells me a lot of you are thinking about going somewhere else, okay? Or that you are getting attention, because I feel some of you could be headhunted over the next coming weeks and months. Um, but I'm also getting this energy of it's a difficult time right now in your industry and you know, you've been working really hard but you feel unappreciated. But I see that in the next six weeks you're gonna be noticed for something or recognized for something and rewarded for something because a spotlight is sort of coming on you in some way to give you something that you wish for. Now, for a lot of you, it's more adventure, more freedom, more independence in your every working day, more creative control, and, you know, just being noticed for someone who is destined for the top. I see promotion vibes here. So a lot of you, especially with that King of Wands energy, I see a promotion being offered or uh, some sort of new title. Um, you're a pro at what you do, so I definitely see this sense of creative control, you influencing your circumstances and really following your passions. You're gonna be on top of your goals. Whether you decide to leave a position or not, I feel like you are someone who is uh, destined to go to the top, uh, but also I feel like you're gonna be super organized and just getting a lot done over the next coming weeks and months that make you feel really proud of yourself but it's hard, and the hermit energy tells me that you are exhausted, okay? So I feel like some of you are searching for inspiration. I mean, this is a card that can indicate that, you know, the star is in the lantern, so you could be wishing for something, but you feel like you haven't got it yet. You're sort of hoping for something, and your outcome card is the star. So you're gonna get what you wish for, but also I feel this is about you releasing yourself, you know, being able to express yourself creatively. It's about not holding back. It's about, you know, going outside the box, being your original uh, unique self and allowing yourself to shine, but also being seen in all your glory. So for some of you, you may be seen that, you know, you're doing so much and that you are overstretched. So you may actually get an opportunity to delegate or there's some support on hand for you over the next coming weeks and months. But the Hermit is a card of like needing a rest. So some of you may take a temporary break. Maybe it's a vacation or a moment of respite in order to regroup your energy and just get clear in your mind about what it is you want to take uh, next in terms of your steps in your career on your path. Uh, this card can also indicate that you're someone who is very established in what you do. You have a lot of natural knowledge, a lot of uh, natural gifts there as well. And it can indicate that you're just fed up with, uh, you know, management or you're fed up with the way that the company is run right now, but you're enduring it uh, because you have to hold out either for the next steps of your plans, or it can be that, you know, you are holding out for this promotion. Uh, the Hermit can also indicate that some of you, as I said, are thinking about going solo, launching something. Um, and with that five of cups there, for some of you, it's almost like you've lost that loving feeling for something that you've done 
or it do, or it could also be that something that you really invested in, it didn't go the way that you hoped for, and you're super disappointed, and you feel um, that things have just been difficult. And I feel with these two cards here, it indicates some of you are either rethinking an alternative way to approach something, or you uh, feel that there's no alternative opportunities heading in your direction and you're feeling just a little bit deflated but know that there is something coming for you that is going to be a nice surprise um, I'm not seeing it as good news just yet um, but what I do see is that there is some sort of communication it could be an appraisal it could be a meeting that you have with somebody where you are uh, basically discussing the next steps in your career and how you can grow and flourish in the role that you're in. And suddenly it's going to be mentioned that actually there's a new role available and they may be interested in taking you on for the role. Um, and I feel there's this energy of you being watched. Okay, so just be a little bit mindful. I feel uh, there is an opportunity in the works at this moment in time and they are seeing that you are the right person for the role. But you're going to have a meeting about that in the next Next coming weeks before it materializes and you know you may have to sign a new contract for those of you who are looking for a new job putting your resume out there I see that you are um, moving up the ladder it's almost like you're skipping a step so it could be that you're in a certain title and then the next role you're going for is too above the one you're in already so I'm seeing that strongly there but also the five of cups some of you are lamenting something and it could be that you know there's a shortage of resources you may feel that uh, there's a break in the chain in some way things are difficult it feels like no one's working together you're sacrificing a lot and there's no workers morale there's just this energy of like oh you know what I got to do the same thing even though you once loved what you used to do it just feels right now that either you're overstretched or you feel that you know you've been let go to get on with the work and just do it and no matter what there's more and more being asked of you and you're not seeing any financial reward and it's just tiring um, but again also this card can indicate that you feel that you go unnoticed and you just come in clock in do your stuff and leave um, but it is in the crossing position so this can indicate that there is a recovery a moving forward suddenly after a disappointing period and that hope returns also some of you and I'm sending a huge hug out there because uh, we've got Got the three of swords there some of you may be grieving on a personal level this could be someone who has transitioned could be a, a divorce a separation or it could be that you've been unwell and you know you've just been finding it extra hard and you're just trying to show up every day and put one foot in front of the other and I'm sending you a huge hug out there because I can see here with that three of swords that you're also struggling with something or something is really difficult right now and you know you will get through this six of swords indicates you've been going through some testing times but you're coming out of that so if you've had extra work on due to whatever reason um, actually thank you so much I'm truly grateful um, I just heard the words messenger will come messenger will come so uh, this can indicate um, maybe just after the six weeks because I'm reading for six weeks there is a message that will actually uh, make you smile okay um, I feel this is connected to your career I want you to be aware of that um, and with a lot of respect for those of you who are grieving something really personal I'm going to move away from that but it will come in waves and of course there are no words to comfort you during this time uh, but I feel like you know um, things will um, start to subside and um, I feel a lot of you may even try to launch yourself back into work a little bit too early or perhaps you are made to come back to work uh, a little bit too early um, but I feel like you're just going to have to take it day to day I got to be honest with you okay but I do see that you are entering into a period of healing and uh, know that you know the time period will be individual to each of you there so again sending you so much love and hugs out there now for the rest of you the three of swords I'm feeling there is a miscommunication here so I would say and this has come up a lot for a couple of signs uh, this month so maybe it's because uh, Mercury will be going into retrograde as we move into August if there is anything that you are asked to do make sure you get it in writing because I feel someone could miscommunicate what they mean and then blame it on you even though you heard what they said and you did what they asked but they may be like um, a little bit frazzled or going through something personal and then they kind of look at you like you got it wrong when it was actually the other way around 
So just watch out for that there as well. Also, I see a password change coming here um, or a password being forgotten is what I see and needing to be um, changed. But I do feel some of you, I mean, they always say don't write a password down, but uh, I feel some of you may be locked out of something because you forget a password, but don't worry, it will be rectified, it will be unlocked. There may be even like a time frame that you have to wait before you're like let back in, but it will be okay. So don't uh, get worried about that is what I see. I'm just going to pull a card on that three of swords there because this can indicate, you know, difficulty uh, that there's so much work on that you've been struggling and you just are, um, you know, feeling exhausted and you're hoping for the end of the run um, or the end of the season, perhaps. Maybe it's a seasonal thing or, you know, perhaps it's um, unseasonally busy and you're like uh, a little bit surprised or taken unawares uh, but I definitely see that you're managing things even though it is hard uh, yeah so the first card you got to clarify this is the three of cups which is support uh, I feel like you are going to be able to share your load for some of you if you're an entrepreneur and you work for yourself and you're like nope that's not possible I got to do it all by myself it can mean that suddenly you come across a person who either does like digital PA work who could actually uh, organize things for you or perhaps you're going to outsource to an accountant to make your accounts easier I feel some of you may find a way to delegate in different ways um, um, and if you work for a company, this could be that there's more resources laid on or perhaps someone who has finished their tasks says, hey, do you want me to take that account? I can help you with that assignment. You know, I feel they genuinely want to help. Uh, so uh, that is there for you as well. Also, the Three of Cups does mean good news that you will celebrate. But I feel this comes on the cusp of six weeks or just after. And it is a new position or a new role or a new opportunity, new project. It's something that's very exciting. It gives you this spark. And I feel it aligns with your vision of what you want for your future. So whatever it is, I feel this is a bit of an exciting time. So there is a bit of adventure going on here. Now, also, some of you, not all of you, but some of you, if you took part in a sweepstake kind of competition in your working environment, uh, whether it's a sporting sweepstake or whether it's like some sort of, you know, game or competition that your company normally run, uh, I feel like you have a strong potential to win it. So uh, that's coming up there as well. Congratulations to the ones that won that. I'm seeing about 3%. Okay, so uh, it's not going to be everybody, of course, but it is coming through. Now, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is about following your passions, and it's about collaborating as well. So some of you may be thinking about collaboration, but also this is a card of you uh, getting a lot of attention in your career, even though you may feel like you work hard in the sidelines and no one notices. But over the next coming weeks, either due to an appraisal or some sort of important meeting, I feel like you are seen, appreciated for your skill set, and offered something that sees you either with star power, like, you know, the star employee, employee of the month, or someone who won that deal, or someone who won over that difficult client. I definitely see this energy of you going above and beyond, um, and you're just doing what you normally do, but I feel this time it's noticed. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have a client or, you know, perhaps you do something, it'll be a hit. People will see it. Uh, it goes global for some of you, or it could be that, um, because you deal with something so well, word of mouth gets out and more people come towards you for your goods or services. But if you work for a company, it can be a person in a position of authority really likes what you stand for and your work ethic and they want to elevate you. So they put you forward for an opportunity that will be coming towards you. This is a card of attraction, okay? So male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. This is the card that indicates that you are going to get a lot of attention in your career and if you haven't had that just yet, it's starting to come towards you. You're being guided towards it. With the Six of Swords there, this indicates, yes, there is a test that some of you may pass. So this could be the difficult client. It could be, you know, literally that you are learning new skills and you have to get a qualification or a certification. You will pass with flying colors. You'll actually get a grade above what everybody else kind of gets. So I feel like you'll celebrate that too. 
and it will help you move into a different pay grade for some of you. But the Six of Swords is literally an energy of uh, movement. So if you've been going through a testing time, know that things are going to get easier for you. I feel like you're gonna be on top of your tasks and responsibilities. I mean, for some of you with this card, you know, this could be that you're literally uh, clearing down all the emails that have built up in your email box or perhaps tasks and responsibilities that you've had to leave to the side because other things took priority. Now you're going to focus on those and you're going to make sure you get everything done, tie up loose ends and be on to the next. There's this energy of clearing the air going on in your career. Some of you, this is a vacation. You're like, I really need to get away. Even if it's a, you know, quick weekend away or a day away, or maybe it's a proper vacation. Uh, so that you go traveling. Either way, it gives you respite. But I see here with this card, it literally means that you are transitioning to something better in your career. So it feels very much like you're being guided to a very passionate sort of position where you get creative control. I mean, the near future, we've got Knight of Wands energy, which is, uh, you know, uh, either this new project or, you know, some sort of spark of inspiration, more energy, more drive, more ambition. But also this is a card that indicates you're unstoppable in your goals and anything you feel like you've lost out on or didn't go your way or even disappointed you, you're moving past that now and you're headed straight to the King of Wands, okay? So again, it's not gender specific reading, it's more about you being a pro at what you do and heading straight to the top. And, you know, you are inspired to move forward and get um, whatever it is that you are aiming for. This is about you being on target. This is a card that indicates you're gonna be very goal oriented, very passionate about what you do, and you know, you're gonna get a lot done. You're manifesting also in many, many forms. Some of you, this is a card of entrepreneurship. So it could be that you're thinking about being independent, launching that new idea or endeavor, and I feel it'll be seen by a lot of people. It will influence people and help people in some way. And it'll inspire you to create more. Um, and for some of you, this could be, if you're an entrepreneur already, you could be branching out. I see some of you having international links going global or having clients overseas or thinking about moving or migrating your business overseas uh, so that you can branch out in new diverse ways. Now, we also have the Courage card, the Strength card there. This is in your advice to yourself in this moment. So that is, you know, to manage your stress levels. It's something that feels very bold and daring here as well. So you could be launching something new or something that's never been done before or something that isn't done by everyday people. It could be that you are branching out and doing something that is considered really difficult or um, you know, an unusual kind of job. There's so many different jobs out there. You know, Of course, there are office jobs, but there are also like um, gardening jobs. There are also you know, tree feller jobs. There are um, you know, uh, jobs in space travel. There are so many things that you could be doing. And I feel some of you are looking at all the things that you love and how you can transfer your skills into certain industries so that you can really make a difference but also do what you love and also the strength card um, this can indicate that you're making sure there are healthy working practices that you know you implement self-care routines because I feel like you're exhausted so it's important to take a rest so that you can recharge your batteries and be ready for this busy period because I feel like you are going to be busy now, we have the King of Wands energy. This is the external circumstances outside yourself. So I feel there is a person here who wants to influence your career in some way. You know, it could be that they've been watching you because I get a sense of being headhunted, but I also see that you could be tapped for a raise or promotion. Um, but also, I get a sense here that there is someone that when you move into a new role or sector or opportunity, it's like you go way back with somebody, but they didn't know that you were even going up for the role. It's just really nice that you're working together and reconnecting. That's coming through very strongly. Um, but the King of Wands, it literally means that you're a pro at what you do. Um, there is a promotion vibe to this. So some of you are stepping into a new role that has a you know, higher status. There's more responsibility. There's more work. But I feel like you're excited about it, you're motivated about it, and it's a secure position is what I see there. Uh, also, these two cards combined, they can mean like entrepreneurship, setting new ideas in motion to become an independent worker if you're not already. Um, 
Now, of course, some of you could be launching second streams of income, uh, maybe something that you're really trying to do. You may actually revisit an idea that you feel didn't work out the first time, but you may revamp it or reimagine it in some way, and it really works this time, okay? So don't be disappointed because I feel it's really important to recognize there's no such thing as failure, only a learning curve of what didn't work so that you can do it differently the next time around. So I feel some of you are really like going back to the drawing board on something and it's going to be very exciting, but also very lucrative later on. Now, the King of Swords, it tells me that you're going to be super organized, um, that you have lots of new ideas. And of course, this card can indicate that you are very instinctive in your decisions. Some of you are making a decision about the next steps. Uh, you're liking everything in order this month because I feel... You know, there's a lot of chaotic energy in your industry or in your environment or perhaps in the season that you're uh, working in because, you know, companies, they tend to work quarterly. It could be that it's a tough season or that it's unusually busy for this time of year and you're just being organized on top of things and getting everything in order. Um, but also this card indicates that you're going to be in a very powerful position. And um, because it's in this position, which is a hope and a fear, it can indicate that um, some of you, you're wondering who you can trust in the working environment. I would say copyright any ideas. Make sure, you know, that you, um, especially if you're going to publish something, don't tell too many people. I would say keep it to yourself. Uh, if you're working on something quietly, then maybe reveal it when it's done or when it's published or when it's been, you know, copyrighted in some way. But I feel words are going to benefit you. So some of you could be giving a presentation or uh, you could actually be giving a, um, an appraisal yourself. And I feel it goes really well, but it may have been something that was difficult for you to do. And I feel like you come out on top. You know, I keep getting this energy of star power, star power, um, which, of course, this is the star energy. But this is a card of success, a wish being fulfilled. It's also about inspiration, working in a brand new way and embracing new ideas that help you grow in your career. And if you feel that you've had any confusion or um, if you've uh, been a little bit lost or drifting in your career, trying to work out either the next steps or the path that you're on, or even whether you still love the industry that you work in, this is about gaining clarity and recognizing what you want to do next. I mean, the star literally means there is a brighter future to look forward to. I feel like you'll hear about some sort of new role or promotion vibes just after the six weeks. So there could be a contract coming in after that. I mean, I'm going to pull one more card on money because right now I feel this is more about you, um, you know, being ahead of the curve, trying to overcome a very difficult time, seeing what it is that you love about your day-to-day -day tasks and responsibilities, trying to have a little bit more spontaneity and opportunity to elevate in your career and really be appreciated for what you bring to the table. Uh, Queen of Cups is more about loving what you do, but also recognizing that you're very gifted, that, you know, you have a lot of skills to offer the role that you're in or the role that you're looking for. And uh, Queen of Swords, interesting, Nine of Cups. Uh, for some of you, this is collaboration. So it could be two people collaborating or perhaps it's two people who don't get on so well, you know, finally kind of like deciding, okay, for the sake of the common goal, we're just going to work together and it's just going to be okay. Uh, for some of you, you're thinking about setting up a business with someone that you really trust and it could be a partnership that will transform everything. But ultimately, I feel these are aspects of self rather than two people. So this is about you loving what you do, being organized and setting visions in motion for the future. This is about you looking to the future to transform the way that you work and be on top of your goals and also focus on your clarity of purpose. Purpose. And the Nine of Cups indicates you can have it all. You can have the money, you can have the status, you can have the life that you aspire to, and you know, you're on the right track is what I see there. Okay. So financial wise, I feel there could be uh, some sort of increase in your finances, but I feel it does not come uh, just yet. I feel you may hear news about it a little bit later on. Okay. Um, I feel personally you're keeping a tight rein on your finances. I feel like you're being very savvy with your budget. You are going to be able to save a little bit of money uh, this month. Um, we have affluence. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? So, we have 
sideways. So it says indirect path to success. Now I did mention, I feel like, you know, you go into a role that is two roles up or it's almost like, um, say if you are here and then there's a next uh, role above you, you kind of get to the next one. So it feels like you miss a step. So uh, that's, it's like a sidestep, but it's not. I feel like you are maybe having a bit of a plot twist, but it feels like you are plot twisting up if that makes sense. It says here, indirect path to success. So I feel even you are surprised that you kind of like make this move. Exploring all paths, one leads to another. So I definitely feel this connectedness. And it says sampling life, looking at different areas of your career, the skills that you have and how they are transferable. Uh, we got good luck. So uh, definitely if you're in a sweepstake or some sort of competition in your working environment, there's definitely uh, better luck there for you. But also I feel there's a surprise opportunity in the works for you at this moment in time. It says fortune smiles upon you, fast money, lucrative venture, paying off, flying high and plenty. So uh, definitely an indication that the path you're on right now, there will be an increase in your money. Uh, we've also got affluence. And it says there, influx of abundance, quick cash, deep pockets, assets, patron, money flow. So for some of you, especially if you're an entrepreneur, it could be that you are opening yourself up to patron uh, payments or perhaps uh, you do something that uh, people really value and they want to give you a bonus or a tip in some way. Um, but I feel there is going to be an influx of money after you hear some sort of news after six weeks, okay? So that's what's coming out strongly in this particular reading. So I'm just gonna go and get a trinket or rune before we close. Uh, we have life ring. Now rings, they tend to implement contracts. So this could be a, a life contract coming in. So it could be a, a new role where you're secure in this position um, or you make it your own and establish yourself in this. Uh, life ring can also indicate that if you are currently searching for an opportunity suddenly one comes towards you just when you're starting to lose hope and it kind of like is a, an opportunity that saves you but i feel if anything don't look at it like that it's more that you have the right skill set and you had to wait for the right time and opportunity to arise for you and it's not that you were saved it's that, that the right opportunity had to uh, be formulated and processed before it was ready to be offered to you okay sometimes we do wait for for a long time for the right opportunity and we have to trust in divine timing um, and also we have the God rune which is all about wisdom it's about uh, your knowledge putting you in a position of authority uh, it also indicates tests so I hate to give you that message but I do feel there's a bit of a testing time it's gonna be super busy but I feel like you've got this you're on top of things also some of you may literally be taking tests that are connected in some way to the next steps on your career path also there could be a password test or some sort of IT test where you know you get like a phishing email and it's got a suspicious link there and it's like do you click the link of course you do not click the link and I feel a lot of people may click it but you don't and you pass the test to see if the company is secure or if you know your business is secure it feels like you pass the test so I'll leave it there I hope something resonates in that reading for somebody out there um, also if someone wants to enter the competition to win a free personal reading from me all you have to do is uh, listen to a song called you're the voice by john farnham and then write in the comment section below i stand strong with an attitude of gratitude please listen to the music at the same time as writing the comments because it has an energetic vibrancy that is attached to it and my guides will point me in the direction of one subscriber to offer the free personal reading to also keep that notification bell on because i'll announce the competition winner at the end of the month now of course if you do not like that song that my guides offered up for the reading please choose one that resonates with you more the most important thing is raising vibrations okay because music it raises vibrations and we're currently at a very critical point in the world where raising vibrations is important so I care more about you choosing a song that resonates with you more and having the effect of you raising your own vibrations and writing that comment than anything else okay so Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. I hope something resonates and love and light.